Now, I've already discussed how to use variables in one of the earlier videos. Once again, whenever you can enter a number in the tree, you can also enter a variable instead. For example, in this tree, instead of making big blind raise to 18, you can also make him raise to variable 1. To do so, first enter a value for the variable in the variable menu. I'll use variable 1 and make it 17. And then edit the batch size by double clicking it. And make it variable 1 by entering hashtag 1. And big blind is now raising to 17, which is indeed the value we chose for variable 1. However, what to do if we want small blind to raise here to twice whatever big blind is 3 betting here? For that, we can use a formula. In order to do that, first I'll introduce a new variable. I'll use variable 2, and I'll say that it's equal 2 times variable 1. And if I now assign variable 2 to small blind's 4 betting size, then small blind is now indeed 4 betting twice whatever big blind was raising. So if I edit big blind's raise size to 20 by editing variable 1 again, then small blind's 4 bet size will automatically adjust to the new value of variable 1. Whenever you want to use a formula instead of a number for a variable, start with the equal operator and then enter the formula. The available operators are add, deduct, multiply, divide and to the power 2. And you can also use brackets. So this would be a valid formula. Where variable 2 is equal to variable 1 plus 1 and then multiplied by 2. And for your convenience, in the right of the variables dialog, some examples of formulas are provided. You can also use properties of decision nodes in formulas. They are P for the current size of the pot, C for the amount to call, S for the player's remaining stack, and M for the player's current bet. Just to be clear, P stands for the pot number as it's given here. So if I let big blind raise to 2 times P, then he's now raising to 16, which is indeed 2 times 8. And C stands for the two call number here, which is the amount the player has to put in to match the current bet. For a sum-up of the available operators, please click the help button here to be taken to the website. Please observe that the operators P, C, S and M can only be used for variables in decision nodes. You can't use them for, for example, the blinds, since at the time of posting the blinds, a property like pot size doesn't apply yet. After all, the hand hasn't started yet, so there's no pot at this point in time.